Shkè. Speed it up. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're all keeping well. So today we're going to talk about the figure of eight brush pattern that came from, um, I got from a book from John Riley, uh, The Art of Bop Drumming. But um, it's a really, really cool pattern and it can be played at different tempos. So I'll show you just what it sounds like um, from the get-go. And what I'm actually using this for is I'm doing a song at the moment where I have one section uh, being the main brush pattern, which is this. And I'm changing it up just because the piano stops in a uh, part of the song. And so just to make it sound a little bit more interesting, I'm adding this figure of eight. So it kind of goes like this. Eight. So it can be an add-on little thing like that, or you can use it as the main brush pattern, and it can work, like I was saying, at, at various tempos. So you, you, you can use it an awful lot at different tempos. So let's have a look at it. What we wanna do is we wanna get the uh, left hand. So we're gonna start from here, and we're gonna go. That figure of eight that we're doing, you wanna think of numbers. So one being here, two being up here, three being down here, and four being up here. For instance, watch this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're just getting used to playing that figure of eight. And it can be quite challenging to get into it, but do it really slowly. Like that. And you're constantly thinking about the numbers. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, what might happen is that you'll, for instance, you'll start down here and you'll do it a couple of times. And then all of a sudden, you'll be like two, three, and you'll go out of sync. All that is, is just you are either too slow or too fast. And it's, again, just can't think of the numbers, but don't necessarily think of timing. Think of the feel. Think of the, the, the way you're playing it. Not a lot of uh, brush players play a lot from the wrists. You know, you see me, I'm not playing like this. Not like that. I'm, watch, I'm getting the whole, the whole shebang involved. The wrists, the forearm, the elbow, it's all working. Also, you don't want it to sound like should be the atmosphere in the left hand. <sighs> Practice that hand individually, and then we'll bring in the right hand. So the right hand is doing an S shape while this is playing, but we're just gonna focus on the right, and we're gonna think the opposite way around. So before, we were thinking about the eight, uh, when we're doing the figure of eight, one, two, three, and four. What we're doing this time is thinking one and two, three, four. It's not that complicated. We're starting at the top and doing a f uh, the figure of, uh, uh, not the figure of eight, the, the S figure. So one, two, three, four, pretty simple. Three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So, we're like that. Um, and just put it that, that, that side you're gonna find quite easy. All right, now, if we have it just playing like that, it's fine, but when we join it together, it's a little, I suppose, a little lackluster. It doesn't sound as good. Wait and you hear it. Three, 
it's very dull. So we have to add in something that makes it sound like jazz. So we're going to add in the ah note from just before the one and the ah note just before the three. So instead of going down one, two, three, four, we're going to go ah three, four, ah one, two, ah three, four, ah one, two, ah three, four. Okay? Just gives it that little bit. It makes it sound like jazz. So it makes it sound like. So we have to, it's very important to add that in to make it sound more triplety, to make it sound like jazz, okay? And you just make sure that you don't do it like this. You don't want to do it like this, watch. Think about everything working together. So you want it to go, and when your hand goes off at the two, it comes back, give it a smack, and then go into the one. You get what I mean. Ah, one, two, three. Let it all flow together. Just like that. Now, when you're adding everything together, um, it can, that can be a challenge because you're do it's it's got one of those things where it's like you're you know you're 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 rubbing your belly and patting your head. It takes a while to get used to it, but you just think about instead of thinking this hand is doing this and and the left hand is doing something else think of how they work together at the beginning you're going to have to really focus in on what each hand is doing but when you really look at it look at how these two hands are working together one's down here one's up at the top and we'll just start on the one one two Okay, did you notice that at the beginning? Look, they're doing a dance. Well, only this hand is not flying off, but... See that? They're coming together, they're working together. So that should make it a little bit easier. Again, think about how they're working together. After you've kind of got it down, don't constantly think this hand is doing this and this hand is doing something else. Okay, cool. So. When you get it all going nice and float, remember, do it slowly at the beginning. And start one. Speed it up. That's the figure of eight. Again, individually, work on each hand, get it down, make it very smooth, okay? In time, smooth. And then join the two hands together, because that's a, another battle. But you get it just again, slowly. And then when you have it really slowly, all you have to do, speed it up. Guys, thanks so for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Hit a like on the video and subscribe for more. Take it easy. Have a good one. Bye bye. Guys, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And if you like what you're seeing here today, you can see a lot more videos. Just click on any of them here on the screen.